Well, I'm out of fact smarts. And in New York City, which is not a place I especially care to visit, the city policies of two different mayors, one a Republican liberal and one a Democrat liberal, have led to massive traffic congestion like you can't believe. This is according to New York Post here. City officials have intentionally ground Midtown to a halt with a hidden purpose of making drivers so miserable that they leave their cars at home and turn to mass transit or bicycles, high-level sources told the Post. Well, I'm not surprised. Today's gridlock is the result of an effort by the Bloomberg and de Blasio administrations over more than a decade of redesigning streets and ramping up police efforts, the sources say. Traffic is being engineered, a former top NYPD official told the Post, explaining a long-term plan that began under Mayor Mike Bloomberg and hasn't slowed with Mayor de Blasio. City streets are being engineered to create traffic congestion, slow down traffic, favor bikers and pedestrians, former official said. There's a reduction in capacity through the introduction of bike lanes and streets and lanes being closed down. The concerted effort includes pedestrian plazas that cut off entire lanes of traffic and created bottlenecks. Protected bike lanes on major avenues that eat up a traffic lane force trucks to double park. Cross streets that where turns are forbidden in, on nearly all avenues. Now, uh, intersections where drivers must wait for green arrows to turn onto avenues. Ordering traffic agents to focus more on writing tickets and less on directing traffic. The goal of jam traffic is to shift as many drivers as possible to public transit or bicycles. Man and Bethlehem was supposed to be safer streets, but city officials have said that while 45,000 fewer cars and trucks now have come to Midtown Daily than in 2010, pedestrian deaths are on the uptick this year. Now, gee, why do you think that could be? The driver headlights began under Bloomberg, in 2003, who was a rhino and a very, very wicked man. With his Through Streets program that prohibits drivers from turning on most avenues from nine midtown cross streets during weekday hours. Bloomberg then tried to drastically cut vehicle traffic with the congestion pricing program that would have changed drivers, challenged drivers in their midtown. All the next plan in 2007, the next year, Bloomberg changed traffic's tactics. He again targeted drivers with his ambitious green light for midtown project, which started in 2009, stalled roadway narrowing redesigns in Columbus Circle Broadway, Times Square and Herald Square. Green lights include pedestrian plazas and protected brake lanes that are still completed, still being completed under De Blasio, who has further snarled traffic with reduced speed limits, redesigned intersections, and aggressive summons runnings as part of the vision. Zero initiative. I'm going to skip down. They're purposely cutting down on number. This is all goes back to when Bloomberg was, wasn't was getting his congestion pricing, so he started doing other things. They're not coming out and saying, that's from a second source, they're not coming out and saying it. Well, they're doing things to cut down on traffic coming in the city. 
such as taking streets and add four lanes and making them three by creating bike lanes or putting a plaza in creating pedestrian islands, the source said. And purposely cutting down on number of vehicles coming into the city by cutting down on space for the vehicles. Now, this is typical uh, mental disorder of liberalism stuff. This is all control control and regulate the sheeple. That's what this is about. And the gridlock traffic agents are being ordered to focus more on running tickets less on keeping vehicles moving and former NYPD traffic safety officer said. Well, as long as, you know, these uh, liberals like de Blasio and Bloomberg keep getting elected, um, you're going to have these problems. I'm amazed. I don't understand why the Republican Party doesn't reform itself and keep quit, uh, kick these uh, rhino liberals like Bloomberg out of it. He should have been injected, ejected from the Republican Party a long time ago. Uh, the Republican Party's crap. They're just as bad as the Democrats, unfortunately. This is why I'm not in a political party right now. Anyway, that's our story for today. This is the mental disorder of liberalism. Thanks for watching.